All right, this time we have three terms. The first one and the last one are perfect squares. 49 is 7 squared. 100 is 10 squared. And this 140 right here comes from 2 times those other numbers that we squared. So 7 squared gave us 49, 10 squared gave us 100. So that's where the 140 comes from. It's 2 times those two numbers. So uh, these factor, these are also easy to factor if you recognize that they are perfect square trinomials. Just like with the difference of perfect squares, we're going to have 7r and 7r, and we're going to have 10 and 10, but this time we don't want it to cancel. We don't have opposite signs. Notice that last sign is a plus, so that means they're the same. The first sign is also a plus, so that means for this one, both of them are pluses. Now, it's most likely if you see this on an answer key or if you see it as a multiple choice answer choice on a test, because those are the exact same expression, we can write it like this, 7r plus 10 squared. Okay, so um, now am I going to count off if I give you a quiz and you don't write it as squared? No but you do need to recognize that those are the same things because they are going to write it like that on the final exam with the square, okay? So, uh, give 50 through 54 shots. 